Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 1097. This is Borderlands. Borderlands is a 2024 movie that is directed by Eli Roth. This has Ryan State Films, A2 Productions, Box Studios, and 2K Productions. And I believe that 2K is the name of the... Well, I think Box and 2K are the production companies that are... That are have the Borderlands rights, as Borderlands is based on a video game. So I saw this movie on August 27th, 2024 at Cinemark Milford 16 in Milford, Ohio. So this is about an infamous bounty hunter who returns to a home planet Pandora who forms an unexpected alliance with a ragtag team of misfits. Together, they battle alien monsters and dangerous bandits to uncover one of Pandora's most explosive secrets. So, in this movie, we see Kate Blanchett portraying Lilith. Lilith is a bounty hunter who is tasked with getting the daughter of a powerful ruler back to him, and she will be rewarded. Kevin Hart portrays Warren in the movie. Warren is the guy who kind of like, so I wouldn't really say kidnaps the girl of the the daughter of this powerful war who eventually is the bad guy in the movie. But let's just say that Warren teams up with this girl along with some other people and they kind of like want to take down the bad guys. And Lilith even forms an alliance with them. Jack Brad voices Crap Trap. Crap Trap, oh, Crap Trap is with, well, he sees Willif in the beginning of the movie, and he also is part of this team. Same thing with Warren and other members like Tiny Tina, who is portrayed by Alana Greenbrat in the movie. Tiny, Tiny Tina is the daughter of this powerful ruler who assigns Willif to take her back to him. And he believes that Warren kidnapped her. Even though that wasn't exactly the case. I want to point that out. Edgar Romales portrays Deuterian Atlas. Who is right like the villain in the movie, I would say. Florian Montaru portrays Creed. Creed, K-R-I-E-G. Gina Gerson portrays Mad Moxie. Jamie Lee Curtis portrays Dr. Patricia Tennis. Otanis, who's also part of this team, and let's just say that she's like a mother figure to Willith, after something happened to Willith's mom when she was a child. By the way, her mom is played by Harry Bennett in the movie. And then we see some other actors and actresses in this movie, like Bobby Wee as Rary, Arthur Richards as Chrome, K-R-O-M, Johanna Gravenkar as Commander Knox, Cheyenne Jackson portrays Jacobs, Charles Baboa portrays Hammerwalk, Benjamin Brian Davis as Marcus, Stephen Boyle as Scooter, Ryan Redman as Ellie, and Harry Ford as, mi as a middleman. <laughs> so, I knew Borderlands was a game, but I never knew anything about it because I've never played a game before. But I enjoyed this movie. And I like how it had like, actors like Craig Blanchett, Kevin Hart, and Jamie Lee Curtis. And right, even though there was a little bit of comedy in this movie, this movie is mostly action adventure. As these team, this team of misfits are trying to take down the bad guys, who and one of the bad guys is the daughter is is the father of Tiny Tina. Well, sort of. When I mean by sort of, I will let you guys see it for yourselves because due to spoilers. Now. I know that Borderlands has several games, and I'm not completely sure which game is based on the movie, or what, yeah, what game most resembles the movie. But I thought this movie was definitely action packed, definitely uh, a little bit comedy, especially with Jack Brass character as Crab Trap. And despite the obstacles that these characters face in the movie, they, they do look out for each other. And they realize that, especially Willith, they eventually realize that even though Pandora is not exactly a nice place to be, maybe the team teaming up with each other 
They might be able to take down the bad guys. And there's another thing. So this, there was a special key that unlocks all the secrets to Vendora, but nobody's been able to find it. Only the only a special person can can access this key. I won't say who it is. But it may not be what you might but it may not be the person that you might think it will be. Like in the movie, people think that this particular character might ha have the ability to unlock this key. But it may not be who you might think. Now it could now you might be able to know if you have played the game, but since I've never played the game, I have no idea before seeing this movie. But let's just say to someone someone, and I will say someone in this team of misfits is able to unlock the key. And once that happens, it changes everything. Like they said, despite non-favorable reviews, I thought it was a pretty good movie. And I think E.Y. Roth is known for doing a lot of horror movies. So this was definitely a change in genre as a PG-13 action adventure movie. But yeah, I thought it was a pretty good movie. So that's my movie review of Borderlands. Please enjoy for this movie review. Alright, goodbye.